So we're on our way to uh, Wellington, now Auckland, Christ. Um, but even in news reports, they're continuing to say the most despicable things that are really, really dangerous. Um, and I can't even tell you all the things that have happened, but I will be able to once I get back to the UK. But uh, if I was in New Zealand, I would I would be hard pushed to believe anything I read in any paper or anything I saw on any uh, news station or a damn thing any politician said. And I think that sort of goes for Australia as well. There's except Sky News in Australia were great. Uh, and the Australian, but there's something, there's something really weird when you talk to a journalist who can't tell you what a f fucking woman is. So excuse my language, I've picked it up from the Australians. Um, it's difficult not to swear in such situations. Uh, it's just, I don't, I just don't know what to say at this point because it's, um, I mean, how do you fight something completely uh, the is a right turn irrational? Um, as you go past over the, over the like, and how, do you fight, you go how do you fight something where a huge amount of a population, like these young people, unit one, unit two. believe lies? Like fundamentally want to uh, yeah, rip out. Up. Can you make your way to the, you and Daniel make your way to the entrance, please? Rip out the, uh, fundamental foundations of society, which is truth and biological truth. sex. I mean, how do you, I don't, I, I don't quite know how you. Sorry. It's, um, it's really nuts. Like you can have two sides of something and you can dismantle arguments, but when when the argument when the argument is um, you telling the truth and other people saying the most crazy, unfathomable, weird stuff, I mean, how do you counter it? So the purpose of Let Women Speak today is going to very much be about um, showing what, what happens when women speak. Um, and we will hear some voices of the women in New Zealand. And the press told me yesterday, there's no issues, no one's talking about it. Maybe you can loop around behind that single car. But when I talked to the press yesterday, this, this massive bloke said, I said, you know, we don't want, we don't want men in women's spaces. And the guy goes, <laughs> how many cases of, of uh, trans women in toilets assaulting women have there been? Just, I just said, well, you wear a seatbelt every day, not because you're going to have a crash. It's just so, it's really, really insane. And I think because this, this beautiful country um, is sort of far removed from everyone and has had some serious authoritarian uh, things happening in the last few years, it's just, uh, you know, you can do anything, right? If you can lock people up in their homes, and you can force people to pretend that they don't know what a woman is. What what can you do to that weak a population that's lost all power of thought and autonomy? Like you can do anything. <sighs> I've genuinely never felt so unsafe in my life ever. I genuinely like in my bones. I feel. And I think part of that is, is how terrified I am for women and children in New Zealand and, and young men, you know, because it's, they're all being lied to on a mass scale. It's like, it's proper heartbreaking. These angry kids, whilst they're angry at us, they're not angry at their governments. 
They were angry at global corporations who were taking over everything undemocratically, uh, unelected, powerful people that are stealing these, these kids' futures and they, there is no uh, sustainable economic growth anywhere. While the, rest, while the West do this, Russia and China grow ever stronger and we're all squabbling about this. down in the car because it's not got blacked out window. <laughs> it's a bit like if we stop in slow traffic I'm a little bit fucked. See? That's people walking past. Definitely should have had blacked out window. Good, two good one. As they walk past, they went, that's fucking hard. Yeah, one minute out by the, be by the traffic lights, by the police van. We are one minute out by the, come by the police van. Yeah, once you're near now. You need that case to fucking hell. <sighs> it's fucking huge. Just wait in the car. Just wait in the car. Fucking hell. Hey. This is absolutely horrendous. I know it's. it's Where's like, the police? They're, they're right. They're sat in the van, aren't they? Holy shit! People, this is the uh, reality of women's rights. Yes, yeah, oh, it is. We've actually, um, you know, we're really grateful. I know it's a horrendous thing that you're going through, but we've just been ignored. I know what that media woman said. Oh, there's no issue. Nobody's talking about it. Oh, that's uh, the, the revolt. That's the revolt. We can't help. Yes. Move yourself to here, please. Yeah, they come. Yeah, the security guys are coming. Fucking hell. I'll go and pack the car and I'll see you soon. Okay. Good luck. Turn your T-shirt inside out as you come in. No. No? Okay. Absolutely not. Oh. Okay. Joshua, thank you again. Right. Good luck today. Thank you. Go away, Ryan. Sorry. Sorry. Where's the entrance, Dean? Come on, I'm fine. We want to go through here, we want to go through here, pull a gate open. Then you'll clear them out of way.
God, thanks okay? so much. Yeah, just thought, gears thought to gonna police crush station us. Be fine. I thought they were going to crush us to death. Oh my God! Uh, I mean, All security units go to uh, forty eight unit place, Josh. He's quite a big guy next to me. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry. Get all the guards to Emily Place now. Out of here. A B B A Fox. Yeah, you got the package. Just trying to get around the crowd. Copy. We're in the uh, mark car. Oh my god. Alright. Sorry, ten four. I think I might have lost lost my case, but saved my life. <laughs> A firm on Princess. Can you just lock the doors for us, uh, please, MJ? If you can. Ah, oh, spitting on a police car, that's a good idea. Just don't want men in our spaces, and this is what happens. Do think it'd be worse in Wellington? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's. Time to I think so. Say we say can't, we can't, can't do can't it. Protect you no. Okay. Against hundreds and thousands of people. No. Okay. Do you know where we're going? Can we just? Can we possibly go to your uh, like a police station? Can we go to can College Hill? Yeah, please. If that's all right. I just feel there's somebody put a, a threatening note through my door that's in my mom, hotel today. So we'll just go to your station for a while if you don't mind. College Hill will be fine, that'd be great. Can you just let the um, Ops Commander know that? Ops Command, ABB85. Just on our Wellesley, we're going to bring the package to Auckland City Hub, probably. That guy who told all the lies about um, being in the new. You guys part. need an ambulance or anything? I see a bit of blood there, sir. Or oh, is it food? Oh, no, it's, it's food, just, just oh, tomatoes. Tomato sauces. So, you guys need any, any injuries or anything like I've that? I've got no injuries. I don't no, know if you're no, no, just grave fears for this place. Those women that came, like Jesus. One of the one of the women got punched in the face. She got a black eye. She was about seventy. I mean, when a mob when a mob changes, it's uh, you know. It works like an organism, doesn't it? That once they start getting really angry, it just builds. <sighs> unit two, unit one. Sorry, man, do you want me to get these off? I can chuck them in the front seat. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's really heavy, it's quite heavy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks.
Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the live stream because we're out of the mob and uh, talk to you all later.